you're relying on a scripture that isn't entirely revelation. You mean when the Quran says my scripture is entirely perfect and uncorrupt. See, again, you're parodying. It doesn't like say it. that. It Open doesn't. up chapter 2, verse 40 to 44. You want to bet? Now I'm going to school you badly. <laughs> and believe in what I have set down, confirming that which is already with you. Confirming what is already with you, not what you used to have, but you have right now at Muhammad's time. The Quran confirms it. Chapter 12, verse 1, 1, 1. But a confirmation of what was before it and a detailed explanation of all things. Do you know what the Arabic phrase is? Yeah. Baina yadehi. Between Baina yadehi, his hands. So here it's saying the Quran confirms what is between his hands. What was the Injil at Muhammad's time? Let's go to the Gospel of John. You okay with that? Sure. Well, thank you for admitting Muhammad is a fraud and antichrist because that's the gospel where Jesus is said to be the eternal word with God who created all things, became flesh, the son of God who died on the cross and rose again. Thank you for proving that the gospel that the Quran confirms shows that Muhammad is the son of the devil and antichrist. Yeah, that's quite the conundrum.